Um, I'm gonna give you guys a little a little um, update here, and also to uh, tell you guys a little bit about the case. So um, it says a video have has emerged of American tourist Nancy Ng, and um, she's seen waving from the from the kayak. Uh, on the day she disappeared from the yoga retreat in Guatemala. So uh, we heard, you know, a, a lot of people were questioning about um, about the story that everybody was hearing about, you know, her being seen uh, in the lake um, inside the, the kayak. And um, that was the last time, the last time uh, the people that were around her went with, with her to the retreat or were there at the yoga retreat. That was the last time they seen her. So the, the video has appeared. The video has appeared. There's there's a short video out there uh, for the people that are new to the case. To the case uh, it's the, the case, missing case of Nancy Ng, 29-year-old uh, uh, who lives in California. She traveled um, to Lake Atitlan. That's down in South America, Central America, in the nation's southwestern islands. She traveled down there um, on the 14th of October. Um, but the holiday turned in, into, you know, took a turn. So just five days later, when Nancy stopped contacting friends and family, uh, the family was informed. So now there's um, a clip. Now a clip has been broadcast showing the former California State University student cheerfully waving from a kayak uh, hours before she vanished. Banished. Her family says she never returned from the excursion. So this is the image right here. Um, and like I said, um, it is kind of blurry. You can see it a little bit better on the, on the video. And um, I'm going to show, show the video. It's it's a uh, pretty sad man. It's sad. Uh, I, I saw a video of the sister where she's a, uh, she mentions that the father sleeps with the phone on the side and she, he's waiting for, for the call and uh, for people or somebody to tell her that you know that they they have her and and man, if you guys know anything, uh, please contact the family. Um, sister Nikki Ang um, told the news. Hi Ray, Victory Hand, Medium Skin Tone. Hey, how's it going? Uh, well, welcome to to the live stream. We're giving an update on the Nancy and case, and uh, so uh, says Sister Dicky and um, my dad. He, I know this sounds terrible, but he keeps keeps his phone next uh, to him at night. He's hoping for a ransom call, you know, something that will pro, uh, prove that Nancy might still be alive, and she's out there, that she's uh, waiting for us to find her. Um, I mean. I hope they find her, and I hope there is a call. Um, I mean, but just telling the family that uh, they found her without having to go through, through a ransom. But at, at this at this point, you know, we we want to make sure she's safe, you know, and, and the family hears uh, from her. And um, let's check out the video. Welcome to to the chat. Hey, Moran, how you doing? Welcome, welcome to the live stream. Good to see you. And. Um, so let me play the video. I have the video here. And um, hopefully it's not that loud. Let me turn off the music. The new details into Nancy Ng's disappearance come as her family continues to call for her to come home. Her family responded to a report from Guatemala saying she drowned. They say this conflicts with evidence they've received yeah. from their attorney. Here's ABC's Eva Pilgrim. My dad, he... And this sounds terrible, but he... He keeps his phone next to him at night, um, just like he's hoping for a ransom call, you know, something that will prove that Nancy might still be alive and that she's out there and she's just waiting for us to find her. This morning, the FBI now involved in the urgent search for a missing California woman, her family saying she vanished while on a yoga retreat in Guatemala. Nancy Ng's family says this is the last known video of her now shared right. with rescuers waving at the camera taken October 19th, just before she disappeared. Her family says the 29-year-old went on this kayaking excursion in the remote area of Lake Atitlan, but she never returned. But this morning, ABC News learning from... Let me uh, make the video, enlarge the video. I actually, so you guys can see a little bit better. And... Um, 
Here's the video. You can see a little bit more clear. And you can see her waving right there. I mean, like I mentioned earlier, I mean, yesterday, um, let's try to find out who, who took this video. I mean, was it shot with her phone? Um, how did the family get it? But let's keep on playing the video, and I, I want to show you guys. Guatemala. Nancy Ng's family says this is the last known video of her now shared with rescuers waving at the camera taken October 19th, just before she disappeared. Her family says the 29-year-old went on this kayaking excursion in the remote area of Lake Atitlan, but she never returned. But this morning, ABC News learning from the Guatemalan prosecutor that Ng, who was traveling with the U.S.-based tour group, went out on that kayak excursion and, according to the woman she was with, they advance deeper into the lake where the missing woman tells her that she wants to swim. And that is when she drowns. But why it took this woman and the tour group 24 hours to report it to authorities remains a mystery. That's why. Local why fire to, and rescue to, to telling ABC News there were reports that Ng was last seen about a half mile away from shore. Her kayak was later found, but no sign of the fitness enthusiast. So yesterday, yesterday uh, on that video that, that we, we did, uh, if you haven't seen it, go check it out right after after this live stream. Um, I, I was, I was, I mentioned too, you know, I was, I was asking because we haven't, we haven't gotten so many details, but I was like, wait a minute, you know, did they find a kayak or they, they haven't found anything at all because they're not telling us anything. They're not saying anything. And, um, I, I don't know. I, I think, I think the people from there, from the resort, they're just trying to protect the image and, um. And because I, I was checking out the whole location, and it seems like it's just a small, uh, I mean, it's it's just a, it's not a small resort, but a resort, but it's just just it seems like it's isolated and kept uh, between uh, the people that that have the business there. And um. her family says Ing works with special needs children at a local school district, is loving and full of life. Beautiful. Please help us bring Nancy home. They've now hired a private search team led by Black Wolf Helicopters owner Chris Sharp, his group combing the area from the water to the sky. We searched 90, 95% of the lake. 95% of the uh, lake. That's with helicopters, drones, boat crews. And saying the terrain, coupled with a lack of information, has complicated search efforts. The FBI telling ABC News it's offering Guatemalan authorities resources to help in the search. The State Department, in touch with local officials, is monitoring the investigation. Ng's family saying this is her second year going on the retreat. She it's, uh, it's a trip, and it's still, it kind of, it pisses me off a little bit because, you know, it seems like they're, they're giving the people just very small information um i mean just now they're informing the everybody you know that, that they found a kayak and um uh, it's like wait a minute like a week ago or not even you know, a couple of days ago they were still like with the limited information not telling people anything so and just now they're they're, they're letting the people know okay we found like the, the kayak and i've seen some videos and even here on this video here you can see there's there's people around you can see i was watching some videos and there's so somebody, somebody knows something there, man. I, I, I they gotta really investigate. Uh, if you guys can go and donate to the GoFundMe page, I am gonna post a link down in the comment section below, so you guys can go and help out the family because they're gonna need the money, man, to, to pay for um, um, people to go investigate, and and it, it just sucks because this case is not it's not here in the country, so they. Even if they wanted to be there um, 24-7, um, I mean, it's it, it's a lot. It's a lot. So Took this video hours before she vanished. Now she vanished before this video. She took this video hours before she vanished. Now her family pleading for someone to come forward with information. There are people that witnessed what happened. Um, within the group that have not come forward and 
we were racking our brains as to why they wouldn't want to come forward and help. If nothing nefarious happened. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. That's very sad, man. Sad and devastating. Um, I don't know, man. Like I said, the information is very limited. They're not giving us any, any, any information, not giving people any information. And I know some people are going to say, oh, you know, uh, why the, 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 the YouTubers or, or uh, live streamers want all this information. All, all we want, you know, we want the information so we can spread the information and give it to other people. At my side, you know, I know I have some people that watch from all over the place, you know, and maybe, you know, with my Spanish that I know I can help out, but I can't. And many of us, you know, we can't do anything if we don't have any information, any details to give. Um, but we're still, we're still going to keep, we're still going to keep on, 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 on checking on this case uh, and looking to see what is going on. But it, um, it took 24 hours, a whole 24 hours, man, after she disappeared for, uh, this is according to allegedly, you know, to the, to the news. It took a whole 24 hours for the people um, to report it. So I'm guessing maybe they were trying to sweep it under the rug. Okay, we can find them. Let's not contact the authorities. Let's look at uh, for them, look for them on our own. And that's probably what they did. You know, that's that's what they did. And after 24 hours, they just, um, you know, they panicked and and they that's when they contact the authorities and and. The rest of of the uh, of the people, you know, to to get a crew to to search, but for what I heard and they're saying is that the authorities, after seventy two hours, they told the family that they needed to contact some professionals, and um, now they have a, a professional crew, and it's weird, man. It's weird because I mean, for one. They lost a whole twenty four hours, you know. The the and when I say they, I'm I'm referring to the crew, the investigating crew, and um, they 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 try to do whatever they could. They had drones, they had a helicopter, you know, boats and all, and still they couldn't find her. I mean, they found the the kayak, but uh, let's keep the family in our in our prayers, man, and see what what happens, and hopefully we we get some good news soon and 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 nancy can go back with the family ladies be careful out there man and not only the ladies but also two gentlemen be careful you know uh either if you wherever you go if it doesn't matter if you um you know you stay in within the country for vacations or or outside you know be careful who you you're around with man because this 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 really 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 sucks and um like i said it sounds like there's something they're trying to keep there's something that they're trying to keep uh, under the rug, and um, they need they need somebody. They need to send somebody down there um, to 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 go go check themselves. But um, there's I checked on um, I checked on on um, online to see if there was any pictures, maybe of her. Uh, also, to another thing uh, that's kind of kind of weird is that. I most of the pictures are at least online that I researched about this spot or this location, um, this whole area. I tried looking for pictures from last year, and I was like, you know what? There's got to be pictures of maybe of last year because Nancy, um, the family said that Nancy went last year around the same time. So I went back to to certain pages, certain websites. I don't want to say what pages or websites because I don't want people deleting stuff, but. Um, there's nothing, man. There's nothing doc documented or any any pictures, of, you know, anything from last year around this time. So there is pictures here and there, but you would think, right? Like, okay, um, if Nancy was there last year, um, she's gonna come out in um, somebody's pictures, you know, because there there's a lot of people that go in groups there. So, um. Once again, man, if you would like to help the family, you, you guys can go ahead. I'm going to post the um, GoFundMe page down below. Uh, times are hard. If you guys cannot donate, I mean, you guys can still help out by um, sharing the GoFundMe page. Uh, give this this video a share also, too. It helps. And to spread the word. Um, but 
we'll see what happens, man. I'm gonna bring you guys more information tomorrow, more details. I'm doing. I'm just doing a quick live stream right now. It's kind of late, and um, we gotta get ready for for tomorrow. But uh, I'm uh before I take off, I'm gonna jump on the on the comment section and the on the chat and see, um, say what's up to everybody. And um, but if you're new to the channel, if you're watching this replay, thank you so much. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. And uh, keep keep in contact. All right. Let me know where you're watching from. You have a good one. Peace.